Archie, it sure is neat of you to invite me to your very own drive-in movie. It's intermission. Come on, let's go to a snack bar. What would you like, Gloria? Hot dogs? Rich burgers? Uh, I love hot dogs, and I adore hamburgers. How about a hot dog burger? One hot dog burger coming up. A pickles, relish, mustard, chili, or... The works. Teach me never to ask a computer for the works. Oh, no! <coughs> It'll take hours to clean up this mess. <laughs> that ain't all you're gonna have to clean up, Richie Rich. <laughs> oh, my mess machine is about to do its dirty work. <laughs> Soon my mess machine will make Richie poor and me filthy rich. <laughs> With nobody around to stop me while I steal all his valuables. <laughs> Gosh, Richie, your robot sweeper-uppers are super! What's going on? Ooh, help! Something's wrong in the mansion! Come on! Good oh, what's, what's going, going on? on? Oh, dear! Oh, my! Oh, my! Oh, my! Oh, my! Oh, my! Oh, my! We've got to get to the bottom of this! Yeah, see <laughs> you! What's going on, Bascom? It's raining garbage, Master Richie. Impossible. Gosh, what's wrong with Irona? Her heroic cleaning efforts have given her a bad case of metal fatigue. Something's fishy. Yeah, the smell. No, the garbage storm. And I'm going to find out what caused it. You sure you want to stay, Richie? Don't worry, Dad. With Professor Keenbean's gas masks, the estate smells like a rose. I'm not leaving with this mystery around. And I'm not leaving with this dirt around. Good work, mess machine. Now we have the whole place to ourselves. <laughs> now to strip the entire estate of its riches. <laughs> so that's their game. They've driven everyone away with their smelly garbage so they can clean us out. Oh, yeah? I'm in charge of cleaning around here, and I'm going to clean them up. Uh -huh. <laughs> I'll teach you not to mess around with us. And this'll teach you not to mess around with me. Oh no, Dollar's trapped. Uh oh. Look! Those thieving robots are inside the house! I'll find them, Master Richie! Don't bother, Irona. We'll use Professor Keenbean's spring cleaner to find them. They're stealing our gold refrigerators! After them! Frost! Huh? And rest, you rotten robots! <laughs> no! No! Blah! I'm getting clean! Oh, I hate clean! I hate it! I hate it! After him! Ah! Oh, dirt, dirt. Oh, I love it. 
love it, I love it. He's hiding under 50 miles of garbage, and I'll find him. Hold it, Arona. Our lawn vacuum will find him. You'll never catch Mr. Dirty. Stay back, or I'll demolish your entire mansion. No, not that. What'll I do without a thousand rooms to clean? Don't worry. I'm gonna clean up two dirty problems with one button. The dirty mansion and that dirty Mr. Dirty. Now to rinse this mess clean. Oh, I'm clean. Oh, huh? clean. I smell good. It's unbearable. Oh, I give up. Take me to a dirty old prison cell. <laughs> Network. We now continue with the Richie Redu Show. Gee, Richie, you sure have a lot of cushions on that couch. Richie, how come my pillow goes flump and your pillow goes crinkle? Simple. Your cushions are stuffed with cotton, while mine are stuffed with my extra allowance money. But gentlemen, you're the finest doctors in the world. You must make Richie well, no matter what the cost. Mrs. Rich, we're dealing with a very rare type of measles. The million dollar measles. Only millionaires catch it, you see. He must have plenty of rest and lots of peace and quiet. Did you say that Richie must have peace and quiet? Absolute peace and quiet. Then take off your shoes. They're making too much noise. What? Oh, well, 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 outrageous. Preposterous. Irona, please. If you won't take your shoes off, I'll do it for you. Stop that! Oh! Young lady, you haven't heard the last of this. A jet! Hmm, what's he doing up there? Maneuvers? Here goes! Time for Irona to blast! Must be Mr. Rich. Why doesn't he get his motor tuned? You're making too much noise. Welcome home, sir. Thank you, Cadbury. Where are your shoes? It was Miss Irona's idea, sir. What's going on here? Is everybody wacky today? Where's my wife? Dear, I'm home. Quiet, sir! Please! Ooh. You have got to take off your shoes! George, please be quiet. Richie is ill. He must have rest and quiet. Richie's sick? Why didn't you say so? He can't be disturbed. Doctor's orders. A man has a right to see his son. Ready or not, here I come! Geronimo! Oh, let him see Richie, Irona. If he's awake, I guess it wouldn't matter. I'll look and see. Uh-oh, he's not there. Oh, well, what could have happened to him? Oh, there he is. He doesn't look sick to me. And his measles are all gone. I don't think so. Now, see here, Irona. Great Scott! Now I've got the million-dollar measles! You're going Betty Bye! Oh, no! Look, Richie!
Mitchie, an old well. Go ahead, Gloria, make a wish. I wish we'll always be good friends. Say, in order to make that wish come true, you have to throw a coin into the well. Gee, that's right. I don't have a coin on me. Neither do I. There's only one thing left to do. I hope this check will cover it. Hi, this is Richie Rich. Don't miss my zillion dollar adventure. It's full of some super surprises. Coming up next. Network. We now continue with the Richie Rip Show. Golly, wow, Richie, your multiple TV can make a girl dizzy. <laughs> sets are broken and right in the middle of the shows. No problem. I'll call him Mr. TV, our repairman. my charity party and all the lights went out. Then it was only a short circuit that turned all my TVs off. <laughs> there, there, Mr. TV. You had no way of knowing the trouble was just a short. I'll put in a new fuse and get the power back on, Mom. The electric locks melted. I bet that's what caused the short. Uh-uh. A short circuit couldn't empty this safe. Excuse me, have you ladies seen any prowlers around? Uh, no, we haven't, Richie. No, sir. No prowlers at all. There, whoever melted that lock blew the power in the whole east wing. You who, Richie? Mr. TV has your TVs fixed. You better see this handiwork and tell him he did good, or he'll break into tears and rust. And now for the Richville News. Good work, Mr. TV. You did great. The mystery burglar, known as the shocking lady who uses electricity as a weapon, is on the loose again. No, sir. No prowlers at all. Come on! I think I know who busted our vaults. I'm sorry, Richie. All my guests have left. I think one of your charity guests robbed Safe 34 today. Oh, that's impossible. Hmm, maybe so. But when are you having your next charity affair? Uh, tomorrow. I'm flying all the girls to our cottage in Hawaii. Terrific. And you'll have a couple of extra guests. Fuzzy-headed lady is here. Doc, we've got to stay concealed so we can catch her in the act. Mm, yummy! No, Doc! No! Shh! And stay put. We don't want the ladies to know we're here. Aha! 
We caught her red-handed. Now to figure a way to slap these handcuffs on her. Oh. <laughs> no, Dollar! <laughs> don't! <laughs> will take care of you brats. Not with me around, they won't. I wrote her. No! Huh? <laughs> I'm too dangerous to touch, and stealing from your puny vaults is too easy. I'm off to the rich gold mines in Nevada for richer pickings. Now nothing can stop me. <laughs> to the airstrip. She's stolen our jet. We'll never get to your dad's mine without a jet. We'll have to find another. No need. My Richie needs a jet. He'll get a jet. <laughs> Hop aboard Irona Airways. Oh, running low on power. First to stop at the power plant for a recharge. Then I'm off for the biggest crime of my career. To rob the U.S. Mint! <laughs> the shocking lady must be inside. Come on, there she is. After her. Ah, fools! You are no match for my electrifying power! <laughs> Come on! I've got to figure a way to stop her! Hold it! She touched that gate! It could be charged with electricity! Dollar! No! <laughs> Even you can stop the shocking lady, Richie Rich. Your money is scattered in too many places. And now, off to Washington to clean out the U.S. Mint! <laughs> She's getting away again. We've got to capture her. If she cleans out the mint, the whole country will go broke. But how? There's no way anyone can touch her. I've got a plan. We've got to get to Professor Keenbead's lab and then to Washington. <laughs> oh, brilliant idea, Richie. <laughs> That's brilliant. Oh, uh, they'll work perfect. <laughs> if I can find them. <laughs> Yes! Gotta fix that spring. I knew I'd find them. Thanks, Professor Keenbean. I knew you would, too. Marbles? What are we gonna do with four marbles? They're not exactly marbles, Gloria. I'll explain later. Let's get going. <laughs> Nothing can stop me! Not the Army, not the Navy, not the Air Force! Nothing! <laughs> right! Nothing except Richie Rich and friends! My lightning will take care of you! Three cheers for Professor Keenbean's super rubbery bubblegum! Too bad, shocking lady. Rubber doesn't conduct electricity. Ooh, somebody better tell that to Dollar. 